Hello everybody, I'm back with the DIY art journal. I did in fact print another copy of this lovely lady and I've got my little stickers here to put her on the page in such a way that she's gonna add some dimension. I got these stickers at the Dollar Tree. I think I'm gonna cut this one in half because I don't want too much, you know, I don't want anything sticking out from under the one on top. Okay, I do like that. The desk is such a mess right now, that's okay. You know, we'll, we'll clean it all up when we start getting to the end of this project and have a clean desk on which to sort of showcase the whole project. I do like that a lot. I don't know, maybe just around the edge. I'm gonna add a little more pink. Yeah, it helps to, uh, I like the, the black outline under there, but I also like having a little bit of pink on top of that to mute it a little bit. A few more scribbles. And the one other thing I wanted to do before we move to the next spread is add some gold touches around the edge of this smaller page. I love to have something around the edge so that it defines it a little bit from the following pages. We could put a little bit of gold on her little accordion wings. I don't want to waste anything, so I'm going to pick up the gold paint that's there, and I'm going to dry this page a little bit. You can see I've already sort of got a little bit. You can see I've already <laughs> scattered some of this paint by closing the pages a little bit. I did us a favor and cleaned up the desk just a tiny bit. I think it helps us to focus on this new spread in front of us, which is really the center of the book. We have four more images to use. One, two, three, four. And then on this last page, we will figure something out, whether it's just color or writing or something, an image from a magazine. Looking ahead at the faces I have left, I remember for the pink paper that I like these two colors to tie in. There's something about the colors in these two images that feel right with the pink paper. That one is really pretty in here. So maybe we will go ahead and decide to use that one there. I like this one on here. I think this really, the colors, I like these colors together. Um, two left to choose from. There's something about her that I really like here, which just automatically assigns her to this page, and I think that's gonna work. For the center spread, one of the things I've been thinking about doing is making a collage from a lot of the pieces, a lot of this beautiful paper we've created from our sort of our backdrop or whatever. So I'm just going through right now to pull out all sorts of paper that we have little paint splashes on. Um, we've got these really pretty circles with all the colors that we've used uh, this could sort of be a stencil. See, that's where we cut around the flowers, and I did save that. I like all of these pieces so far. I just want to see what happens if we take this and maybe just stamp 
all inside. No telling what this is going to look like. Huh. Not quite a flower shape. Let's blend it. It's kind of neat, though. We can turn it into a flower shape and then dry it. And it would be fun to have a piece of this. I think I'm going to just start gluing. Sometimes that's my answer to what is supposed to go where. You know, just be somewhat intuitive with the page. Actually gonna sit that under there. And let's see. Some of the paper I've used in the background for mine is really kind of a stiff paper. This is almost like, um, it's a heavy cardstock. It was part of a book cover and it's, it's much heavier than the rest of the paper. <laughs> Look at her, she's stuck to the glue bottle. People, this is the way, this is the way things are always rolling on my art desk. Do not be afraid to try to bend your pages a little bit, to clip things down, add more glue, be intuitive. I think that's a huge part of art journaling is bringing out your own unique style. And if there's something that just keeps coming to you and you put it on paper and then you don't like it, it might be that you just have not refined it yet. You know, keep, keep working. Don't automatically give up. And if you don't like something, it could also mean it's not done yet. You know, keep adding to it. I like this. Like I said, I knew I wanted to do some sort of collage with all of these beautiful pieces of paper we've come up with as we've worked on top of these papers and just made little marks and such. I'm gonna turn this this way because we're gonna place her. I think I want something else over here and maybe let's see what else we have. Still just gluing down little pieces here. This image came from the Library of Congress. They have a selection of photos called Change Makers, and it is African American, basically change makers. I love that phrase, change maker. So it's one of the words that I wanna use as part of this collage and part of this book. I'm gonna include the phrase in the paper I have that you can print out with all the words, but I think I'm just gonna write mine out. And almost as a symbol of this time that we're living in, I'm gonna do a hashtag. We didn't see hashtags in scrapbooks from 100 years ago, but I'm gonna put hashtag change maker. Just distress the edge of this a little bit. And I don't feel like this collage is quite finished. So I'm gonna do this. One more piece over here. And we could even have, oh, there's another letter. You can see why these scraps just come in so handy. I don't know if we, that's kind of cool under there. I've already glued down that other corner. You see me poking around up there to try to figure out where to put this. I don't necessarily want to cover up any of her photo. I like that it's kind of, you know, front and center and on top of everything else. Now at this point, I'm gonna put out all of the colors in my color palette. We've got pink. I've got white for highlighting, put out a little bit of black, and I think I'm just going to try to go around some of these edges here where the different layers are. 
I'm starting with a color that, one of the lighter colors. I'm actually gonna come back with a paper towel and wipe some of this down and I'm gonna wipe towards the, you know, some of the creases in this paper, or not creases, but the layers. Just wipe some of this off. And look at me getting this black paint everywhere. Now I'm gonna come back with some of the white. And just kind of put that everywhere. We can put a little bit on this cardboard. And then maybe we can do just a touch of black here and there. Put some along the edge of that you know just whatever feels like it's right there's no wrong way to art journal and again i don't want to waste anything so i'm just going to run the back of this journal right across that paint we picked up a little bit not too much i've pulled out this pink here and look at this wonderful color on the top i'm actually going to come over here to the next page because we've got this beautiful pink paper and let's see if we can get some of the color off of this yep a little bit you can have use things like this with a purpose you know, it doesn't have to be an accident. Let's cover it in paint, just being kind of messy. I did get some paint on her face. Try to be careful with her. There, I like that. So that's something for the next page, but don't be afraid to go ahead or to go back. So I wanna just make some marks. I think I'll just do some V-shapes. Straight down. And they're looking more like little hearts, which is fine. We could come back and go around those with a black pen since they do look like hearts. So this is what happens when you just do things intuitively and what feels right on your art journal page. You're gonna come up with all sorts of things. Maybe flatten the brush out a little bit. And that makes us, that makes even a more defined looking heart. Let's even put one right here. Ooh, I like that. I'm gonna dry this a little bit. And now that we have dried this off, I'm gonna come back with my black ink pen and draw a line around these little marks that ended up looking like hearts. You know, we don't have to do all of them either. We could just do some. In fact, I think I like the idea of just doing some of them and making a few of them double layers of ink and just being a little bit messy with it. Let's do one up here. And you can put symbolism into your art, things that come to your mind as you're working. So I'm thinking of the phrase heart of gold. So we could add some gold paint to her heart and we could put just a dot here and there of gold paint. We could add some gold paint to this cardboard over here. I don't think I wanna add any more gold to the page. I love that gold on her. And I love the gold that's in these circles that we made. And, you know, just thinking ahead to some of the paper scraps we have, let's go ahead and use this up by making some circles. I also like the way the black gets tangled up in that too. This will give us some pieces to use. 
and I don't want to waste any of this pink. If we can get any more of that. So this is our journal page for today, our spread for today. We're getting closer and closer to the end. I think it is so exciting. We have so many things that we could continue to go back and add. If you're using any kind of stencil at all, you can go back through prior pages if you want to, or go ahead to pages that will follow, put down some more letters to tie everything in. I think going through a book with ink, uh, whether it's around the edges of the pages, or I'm just gonna use my finger here, you can see this little tab sticking out. Wherever it is, going back through a handmade journal with a unifying color of ink that's been in your palette or a paint or whatever, it can tie things together. And as you look back through your journal and start to finish it up and tie up loose ends, you may have thoughts come to you about the project as a whole that you can write into your book and it becomes a piece of art. It really does. Um, this is gonna be beautiful to sit out for display. It brings a lot of thoughts to mind. It's very powerful. Um, it's, it's a book of beautiful women and maybe things they've been through, things they've done. Don't worry too much about messes. I'm looking at the front and I see that I've gotten some gold paint on her. That is absolutely not a problem. One of the things that I thought about from the very start is cutting out another copy of her like I did this one so that it will stand up off of the front of the book and we can definitely still do that. Um, no page ever has to be considered done if you're not happy with it. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I will be back really soon to start on this next page. Bye for now.